Greetings to you in Jesus' precious name. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you for this day's devotion. You have blessed the Sunday services. We pray this morning you will minister to us through your precious word. Let it be embedded in our heart and help us to live a life that is pleasing to you. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen and Amen. The saints of God is riches wrong. There is a quote that Jesus was telling. It is possible that even a camel can go through the eye of a needle, but it's not possible for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. So is riches wrong? Jesus was meaning about the attitude a person must have when by being rich. It is easy when a person is rich, he tend to hold on, hold on to riches and not on God. When we talk about riches, riches need not be focused only on the wealth. It could be riches in a knowledge, rich in a skill, rich in experience, rich in a background, the lineage that we come from. What is it that we put our hope on? Paul was writing to Timothy and he was commanding two things that he wanted to instruct the people that he is ministering to. Let us turn our Bible to 1 Timothy chapter 6 verse 17 through 19. Let me read. Command those who are rich in this present world not to be arrogant, not to put their hope in wealth, which is so uncertain, but to put their hope in God, who richly provides us with everything for our enjoyment. Command them to do good, to be rich in good deeds, and to be generous and willing to share. In this way, they will lay up treasure for themselves as a firm foundation for the coming age, so that they may take hold of life that is truly life. The saints of God, today's devotion could be titled, True Riches is True Life. True Riches and True Life. Timothy is asked by Apostle Paul to command those who are rich in this present world. There are two words are in focus. One is the present world, a richness in this present world. And we also have to be rich in the age to come. And he says that those who have riches must not be arrogant. Number one, it is possible when we are rich in something, rich in wealth, rich in education, rich with an experience, we could be, tend to become arrogant. But we should not be arrogant because of our riches. And not to put our hope on riches, hope on wealth. The wealth, the Bible says, which is so uncertain, but to put a hope on God, who richly provides everything for our enjoyment. We have such a good God. When we put a hope on God, number one, we need to put a hope on God, even though we may be rich, not only in wealth, but in every other aspect, whatever aspect that we are rich in, we should not put a hope on those things, but we should put a hope on God. Number one, that's the first lesson that we learn. Second command, he is commanding them to do good deeds. Commanding them to be rich in good deeds. They say in the saints of God, this, uh, I mean, this begins with a willingness to share. And then as it grows, they become generous and at the, at, the, at the final stage they become you know they are rich in doing good works and as they do good works as a generous spirit there's operating as they are willing to share you know and what happens they they have, have the riches and the riches is stored up in heaven where the riches is where the treasure is our heart will be there so that is the hope when we when we do good deeds, when we are rich in good deeds, we store up treasure that is for the other life, the age to come. Praise be to God. Our, our mind will be on the land. Praise be to the name of Jesus. May God give us the grace to have this attitude, to put our hope on God and not on the riches and to be, and to be rich in good deeds. Shall we pray? Father God, we thank you, God. Jesus, even though 
you are the maker of heaven and earth you lift heaven to come down to earth god you become poor so that we through your poverty by become rich lord thank you we pray thank you for the richness that you had given us whatsoever we could we could attain riches but help us not to put our hope on those riches or the wealth or any other any other thing that we are and and we are full of but help us to put our hope in you who blesses us with all kinds of riches of oh god for our enjoyment thank you help us to have a generous spirit help us to be willing to share help us to be rich in doing good deeds and let your name be glorified as the scripture says let your light so shine among men that people may see your good deeds and glorify my father your father in heaven let it be so even this week enable us o oh lord even the coming the, the whole of the year till our last breath help us to put our hope on you and continue to be rich in good deeds in jesus name we pray amen god bless you have a great week